Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Funky Pickle. My name is Sandra. I love going to estate sales and thrift stores and garage sales. I've been getting some great stuff lately. Please stick around, hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for coming. All right, so let's take a look at some of the stuff I have been getting at thrift stores and yard sales lately. First up, we have this absolutely incredible beverage and it's covered with rhinestones and it is signed by Butler and Wilson. I believe they are English, if I'm not mistaken, and I love finding Butler and Wilson and I think I'm actually gonna be putting this one up for sale. I really do love it though, it's so interesting. I have never even worn it. It's in great condition, no missing stones. So I got this little Gibson Girl brooch that is a repro. You can tell it's new, right? But I thought she was sort of beautiful. Isn't that outstanding? She's in great condition. I really like that one. So this is by a company called Creed. As far as I knew, Creed only made religious things, but anyway, this is a gold-filled circle brooch. Has this beautiful mother of pearl and awesome leaves. Isn't that so pretty? That's a great piece. This was a big look in the 80s. This great leopard brooch, it's so big, it's like very nicely articulated. Isn't that nice? So his leg right there doesn't articulate, but the way people like to wear these is climbing up their shoulder, and then when you walk, all of this would move a little bit. That's great, not missing any rhinestones, just that one little problem with its leg. That is quite the statement brooch. I gotta start wearing this more. He is outstanding. So I got this butterfly brooch. I love the colors on this one, and I also love, that says Korea, by the way, I also love that it's sort of realistic looking. It has this sort of fuzzy look to it. He has nice red eyes, too. That is a great butterfly. Here's a nice 1950 circle brooch. This has a lot of interest. How pretty is that? Some of those flowers are missing a little bit of enameling. I thought that was really pretty. I know I didn't pay more than 50 cents for this. Isn't that pretty? It's a pretty color combination too. So lovely. Check out this vintage brooch. That seems like that might be real fur. I'm sure it isn't. This is a lot of fun. Wouldn't that look great just on a plain black dress or plain black top? That's awesome. I love that one. So I picked up this great bisque Scotty dog. He's fantastic, very breakable. I guess that's probably the year. He's probably from 76. You gotta be careful wearing this one. He's cute, I'm gonna put him with my dog collection. So I found this for a couple of dollars. I love buying stuff that's new in the box. And that's a really interesting item, isn't it? Look at that high heel. Ooh, that looks so real. It isn't, this is all just costume jewelry. But that's super fun. How great is that? I'm not sure who this is. Ellen, El, Elliot Denori, I've never heard of that designer before. Oh, so I love finding Metropolitan Museum of Art Jewelry. Look at this beautiful angel. I believe this is called Angel Trumpeter or Trumpeting Angel. Look at the detailing in that. And this is based on some sort of a painting that they have at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Isn't that lovely? This was a dollar. I just got this a couple of days ago. So this came with its paperwork. So if you read right here, it'll tell you all about trumpeting angel pin based on an angel and Madonna and child. So this explains all about it. This is beautiful. 
I don't know if I'm going to be selling this one. I might have to keep this one. I might just keep it for a while. I think it's really exquisite. So at the same place a couple of days ago, I got this. Now this I've never heard of for sure. Whitney, made in Sarasota, and there's the, all the history. But look at this cool necklace. That's really interesting. I thought at first they were ballerinas, but I guess it isn't. I guess it's just a, just a family. A mother and two daughters, I guess. I thought that was interesting for a dollar. I gotta try to research exactly what this is. Pretty neat though. So check this out. And this is called Barbara Reed Interchangeable Magna Gems. So you can wear it like this if you want with the blue. You just pull this off and there's a magnet in there and then you can change this out. So say you could wear this one if you wanted to. So that goes in like this and then the magnet grabs it so it will not fall, fall out. Isn't that great? That's such a fun vintage ring. I love this ring. Super cool. I was going to sell it and then, I don't know, now I kind of want to keep it. I think it's so great. I just love the whole idea of it. I think it's super fun. I love this. Maybe this is even from the 50s. I don't know. What do you think? Sometimes I try to date things by the font. There's a patent number there. I should really look up when this is from. I'm going to look that up and I'm going to put it on the screen for you. Here's a cute little item. Little Easter bunny. Of course this is JJ. JJ made lots and lots of really adorable figural jewelry. Although lately I've been seeing some sort of fancier and more elegant pieces by JJ. But this is so much fun. JJ stuff really makes me smile. What a fun company. So I got this beautiful MCM brooch. Now, unfortunately, there is a little bit of stuff that did scratch off of that pearl. Not on my watch, but through the years, somebody did that. And it is a brooch or a pendant. That's very cool. It's just so mod and it's, it's got that sort of sunburst. That's great. I love this one. It's just very spiky and fun. Here's a very interesting pair of earrings, I think. If you sewed anything, you would take some of the fabric that you that you use to make your dress and you would put it right on these earrings and then glue them on these clip backs and you would be able to ha really be matchy. That's interesting, Naugatuck, Connecticut. I love the graphics on the card too. I think they're really fun. Here's a cool abstract slash brutalist brooch. And this is silver tone. I thought this was kind of interesting, really different. I've never seen one like this before, that's for sure. Very interesting. Here's a neat old ring. This is great. I think this may be sterling actually. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like it's wood, but I don't think it is. Marcosites. Isn't that a pretty ring? That's very lovely. So I got these very interesting like film cell Elvis earrings. I love buying anything by the king. You know, people collect Elvis stuff and these would be really fun earrings for somebody. So I got those. They are the same size. This is a real wow. This is another great mod looking thing, not signed, but this is magnificent. You see how if you wore this in the daylight or at night, how it would really reflect and play off the light. This is a beautiful piece, very dynamic. Here's a cool little novelty ring I picked up. Junior stewardess, isn't that cute? Of course, it's adjustable. It's like for a little kid, I guess, yeah. I got this big cuff bracelet. This is really fun. This is just faux fur or fun fur. 
nice bold bracelet that's for sure that's really cool that's almost like a runway you know high fashion piece not just anybody could wear this so this happened at an estate sale a couple of days ago and i knew that i loved that box that's for sure this is a clearly 1920s box and there are pearls inside and it's and these are called Delta Pearls. And I believe this catch, now I don't have my loop and I can't see it. I believe this is 10 karat gold though. I'm gonna write it on the screen because I just don't know where my loop is right now. And I believe these are either completely manufactured pearls, meaning they're just glass, you know, with a coating that they made to look like real pearls or they're cultured. I can't remember now. So I'm gonna look that up too. So I'll leave more information on the screen about that. But this was beautiful. I think this was $2. And as far as I'm concerned, just that box alone, I know it has some wear, but I love this velvet box. Here's a cute old plastic bird pin. That's awesome. Is that supposed to be a pigeon or something? I don't know if that's a pigeon or a seagull. I suppose it's a seagull because why would someone make a pigeon pin? That wouldn't make sense, right? This is very, very light. I don't think that's celluloid. I think it's too new to be celluloid. Is it marked Hong Kong or something? Yeah, so this is probably from the 60s or 70s. Just a nice cheap item, but I thought it was kind of interesting. Here's a newer bracelet, but I kind of like this. And he even has a tongue. You see the snake tongue? <laughs> that's a cute bracelet. It opens over here and it has this little magnet closure. I thought that would just be fun to wear. I like to wear, wear unusual jewelry. And I thought this was pretty funky. Here's another big bracelet. This is beautiful. These are actually glass. This is a nice large bracelet and it opens. I'll show you how it opens. It opens like this. Isn't that pretty and different? I love flower stuff some nice layering i think that's really a pretty a pretty bracelet and this was a dollar so i got these earrings for 25 cents these look like they might have some age to them i'm not sure about these being original it doesn't look like they are these are most likely clip-ons i could be wrong about that but it doesn't look like they're the same color anyhow those are unusual and interesting and creepy so I got these two now these were to these are to put on the end of your collar of your blouse and these are alpaca so they're not real silver but I thought that these were kind of interesting these were just in a box of junk everything was 10 cents pretty cool I thought this was just adorable look at all that glitter underneath it's like sort of layered lucite and then the butterflies are painted on top. A little bit of wear to the butterflies here and there, but I think that's interesting. I also think it's cool the way that the it's sort of um, asymmetrical. There's different amounts of thickness on this bracelet. I thought that was really different. For 10 cents, I couldn't not buy it. So I bought this at a thrift store for $2 last week. How cute is this peacock? Look at that tail. All these move around. I love this. So this isn't old at all. I made the woman cut the tag off, off for me so I could wear it out of the thrift store because I was so excited about it. I think that's really cute. Here's a great old ring from the 60s. This is by a company called Vonda. I'll zoom it in for you. Vonda USA. This is a very nicely made flower ring. The rhinestone in the center of each totally adjustable even the shank is very nice that is so cool and this opens up so it is a poison ring which is awesome I love poison rings super fun here's an oldie this is probably from the 40s maybe the late 1930s this is a beautiful old brooch that is so pretty and this, believe it or not, this was in the 10 cent box at the estate sale. Very pretty item. 
This was $2. I love this item. This is so incredible. Look at all those clear Nevette rhinestones and then the ABs going up the center. Isn't that gorgeous? That is a beautiful, beautiful old brooch. It's very large too. Isn't that nice? This is beautiful. Here's a great panther ring. Look at that. That's super cool. Not signed inside, not real, just costume. But that's a very fun ring. It's very small. It's for somebody with a small finger. But that's pretty interesting. Is that unusual? We're going to do a little bit more of a close up. I got this at a thrift store. This is really interesting and really weird. I love this one and it fits me. See, there's a lot of depth to this one. I love this. It looks so real. It isn't. I think that's very different. I thought maybe this one was real too, but it's not. One thing that had me thinking that was how light it was, because sometimes when they make gold, you know, they make it very light so that it could be somewhat affordable. That's beautiful. I love this, this black enameling, nice white rhinestones. That's very pretty and very old fashioned. So this one's just a lot of fun. This one makes me smile. This is by a company called SFJ. This is likely just from the 90s, maybe even newer. But I thought that was a blast. Very cute flowers with little smiley faces. Adorable. Here's a really nice older one, double rose. It's a pretty color roses too. Isn't that pretty? That one's very nice. This one's probably from the 50s. This is an amazing necklace. Let me try to put it down to show you how it looks. Check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful rhinestones. My camera is not capturing how pretty this is. It's so much prettier than it's showing. Isn't that nice though? This is likely a 1950s piece. That's beautiful. So this one is really interesting. This is actually a, a Hattie Carnegie. There's the signature right there. There is a big rhinestone in that center. And then there's all this wire wrap around it. That's a pretty interesting flower, right? Really different. I think that's pretty cool. Of course, we always love when we find designer pieces like this at thrift stores and I paid a dollar for this. I love finding little baskets. This one's really adorable. So I just need to put a jump ring on here. I'll put that on a necklace. That's really cute. I might even put something inside there. I'm not sure. Here's a lovely locket hanging from a bow. This is all hand painted. That's mother of pearl. This is a nice vintage piece, isn't it? How pretty is that? That's very cute. It's in really nice condition. Somebody probably didn't wear this yet or they just took very good care of it and they were very careful with it. Here's another pin that features a, a box hanging from a bow. And if you unscrew this box, there's a very pretty miniature rosary inside. So how nice is that? Aw. This is really nice. And that says France. This was a very comforting item for somebody. Sort of just hidden in there, but they could take it out if they wanted to. Here's a great kitschy bowling pin and pearl encrusted bowling ball. This is a lot of fun. This is signed by a company called Dodds. I've never heard of that company. I'll have to look it up. I don't know who that is. That's a fun item that I got very inexpensively. So these are beautiful, as you can see. You've probably seen these before, right? These are bone china. 
and this company is called Denton. It's made in England. That is so delicate and so beautiful. I love the yellow and the blue and the green together. Now this comes with its matching earrings, which is great. And interestingly, I got this with it, but this looks the same, but this is a different company. And this is by a company called R-Tone. These are super beautiful, I love these. And I paid $2 for all of these. Isn't that colorful and nice? I got this in a Savers, this was $2.99. It opens up, really bold colors, it's very large. I don't know what you would put in there, but I thought this was different and I, I don't know, I just, I think this one is, is very unusual and very cool. No maker's mark on it. All right, so this is the last thing I'm gonna be showing you today. I went to a yard sale and a woman said, this belonged to my mother and it's an Alexis Kirk and I have to have $10 for it. So I had never heard of Alexis Kirk before, but you can see this is a special piece. She said it was from the 80s. Let me show it to you. So the first thing I observed when I took it out of the bag is it's absolutely positively sterling. There was no doubt about that. I was certainly very interested in it. And it's marked by somebody that I can't pronounce. And it does say sterling. See it? Sterling. And I'm going to just put the name up because I don't know how to pronounce it. So this is what it looks like when you put it together. Isn't that beautiful? See if I can put the light a little closer. This is a very cool 1970s modernist sterling silver and onyx necklace. This is really, really a special piece. So just something to think about. This was not an Alexis Kirk, and this isn't the first time this happened to me where I went and somebody said, oh, that's whatever they're saying it is. And it's in a box or a bag, and it's not the truth. So that's just something to look out for, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. This is not an Alexis Kirk, her mistake but I think this is even better than an Alexis Kirk. So I'm really happy with this purchase. Well, thank you so much for coming to my haul video today, everybody. I love jewelry so much. It definitely makes my life such a better place. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a couple of things and I hope to see you soon. Please hit the subscribe button, like this video if you liked it, and we will see you when we see you. Thanks everybody. Happy jewelry hunting.